Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the countryside with me. We're going to be having a storm this evening. So I'm just coming out here to make sure that we don't have anything that's going to fly away and get it put up. Working on the pool. So, we've had some disheartening things happened around here I wanted to let everyone know about here's the chicken house that I helped put together I got all my chickens put in here and the end ducks and turkeys I put the tarp up so that they wouldn't get rained on and to give them a little bit of of shade during the hot day well, uh, about last week, I came home from a doctor's appointment, and the next morning, I came out, and there was only five ducks left. Something came in during the night, mind you, we didn't hear it. It got in here. We keep this closed up really, really good. It took... 15 chickens, five turkeys, and one duck. No evidence other than a few little feathers. A few little feathers right here and right here. And so um, I had no idea. I didn't know what happened, what could have gotten a hold of our birds so that night when I came in I took Sadie and Hannah out front for a party break and um, we do not have good lighting around here when it's dark it's dark and mind you I'm gonna um, now have a whole light put in with by the power company but um, a car you can't see it from right here, but you can hear when someone's driving down the road over there. There's an, a, a road that goes all the way down, all the way back there to where the PD River is. And I was out front in the front yard that night, letting them do their thing before I, um, everyone went to bed. And I, my driveway is a circle driveway that comes in through here off of this road and off of the main road down there. A car is driving very, very slow down this road with no headlights on. I thought that was very strange and very odd, so I mentioned it, and, you know. And um, we all went to bed, and then when I got up the next morning, the birds were gone. I, I was just totally devastated. You can imagine the things that was going on in my mind, ladies. Um, yeah, we're gonna get a good sized storm. So, made a police report. And then um, later that day, me and um, my daughter's home health nurse, her personal PCA, we were walking the perimeter of the property. We've got two, almost two and a half acres. Um, yeah, everything needs to be cut back, but we're not worried about that right now. We're gonna have to wait until it's cooler weather and there's no rattlesnakes. So, uh, we walked the property line and looked in the woods and everything. And then we walked all up and down the property line over here. This is our property line right here where it's cut. And I don't know if you can see, but there is one trail, two, three, four, five, there's six trails that goes over into the woods over there. 
So we walked the property line. I saw a bunch of white feathers. So sure enough, it was the white duck that was missing. It was dead. I didn't go into the woods to look further for any more of the birds. So, and given the fact that there are several paths, paths beaten out through here, I believe that a pack of coyotes, a pack of something came in quietly and took the birds and carried them off and then killed them over there in the woods. It, it was just sickening. It was just, um, I can't describe the, how upset I was. Yeah, things happen when you live in the country and off grid and whatnot. Or if you're a homesteader, you have to prepare for these things. But this was done so perfectly. It was just, it was just unbelievable how smart this pack of animals were. So, I am going to reinforce, put up some more chicken wire around the chicken house, reinforce it, make it even stronger. I'm gonna bring it up, up and then down like this, up and then out like this. And, um, to where nothing can um, dig up underneath there. And in the meantime, I have put the five ducks that I have left, I put them over here in the quail cages. I've got their, uh, their thing of water in there, but they're in there. They've got a lot of room to move around. And I'm gonna keep them in there until I get this shored up really good so um, they've been traumatized they're really afraid they won't even come to you anymore so yeah it's it's just very disheartening what can you do um, I'm gonna be fortifying and putting up cameras everywhere and um, for security you know, we live in a very small town here, but within, oh, past couple months, past couple weeks, crime has really increased. Two people got shot last weekend, probably a few miles down the road from here. Um, somebody tried to abduct someone at the local Walmart. So yeah, crime is getting bad, but crime doesn't discriminate. It can become anywhere. You can be in a city, in the country. It can be wherever you go. So I guess what I'm trying to say, it's, it's um, don't take anything for granted. And just because you're in the country doesn't mean you're gonna be free from crime. So got some buttoning up to do around here and um, just uh, keep an eye on things and hate to say this, you can't trust anybody nowadays. So that happened and um, I ordered more chickens because those were uh, my meat and egg birds and they should be here on the 17th. I cleaned off the porch today, and I'm gonna go run and do a dump haul tomorrow. I'm cleaning up after the owner that owned the place. He left a lot of things here that needed to be hauled off to the dump. And um, it's unfortunate that you have to do somebody else's work, but if you want anything done, like they say, you gotta do it yourself, right? So, and then um, I'm going to fix this barn, good Lord's willing. I'm gonna try to get it enclosed, get the barn cats out here. 
got a couple more um, posts to put up to enclose it. And um, yeah, I got my front porch cleaned up really well. It looks really good. I've got somewhere I can go sit in the morning and have my coffee. Serenity Swing is up out here. And uh, we can sit out here when it rains and enjoy the cool breezes. Come here, guys! You guys are silly. And, um, but this is my driveway. It's a road that comes up from off the main road. And that road right there goes all the way back to the river. Now some people live back there in the very back. And there's a big farm down there. Um, but why would someone drive down a road with no lights on? I find that highly suspicious. Get over here, Sadie. Come on. So, yep, that's what's going on. Let's go take a look at my porch real quick. I've got some weed eating to do. Get over here, guys. Those two are trouble. Got Serenity Swing up. Cleaned off the porch. I'm gonna put a lot of my flowers out here that I've got in the house. And I'm gonna clean off all of the uh, tables and chairs. But I cleaned off the floor out here really good. We hosed it down and washed it. Got somewhere I can go and have some peace and quiet. You guys stop. Leave the kitties alone. So that's my update. Just wanted to let y'all know. Uh-uh, you leave you leave Tom Tom alone. Hi Tom Tom. So we, we still have Tom Tom and Reese. Oh, that's Reese. Hey, Reese. Hi, buddy. Hi. Um, Reese, Tom Tom, and Randy. Whiskers has been missing for almost a month. Uh, we're thinking that probably the coyotes or something got a hold of him. So. Evidently, we um, we called um, Fish and Wildlife. Come here, guys. We called them, and they said that there was a very big problem here with coyotes and um, something else. Anyhow, the bio they have like a biologist that's in charge of all of this, and um, you know we even got a gator back there in the pond and um, God forbid you know if it comes in your yard or anything like that they they want you to just leave everything alone because they're in, in considered being in their natural habitat but I, I'm like well you know if they come and try to kill my animals or you know my child we got a problem so all of these animals are protected, but there is a really bad problem with the coyotes. They act just like the dogs. You can see them out in the fields, just sitting there. They, they act like a domesticated dog. So, anyhow, it's been a disheartening week, but um, just move, moving forward and doing the best you can with what you got. So. I will see you guys next time in the countryside. Don't forget to like, share, and make a comment or two. Um, I could really use, um, you know, getting those algorithms up and um, get some more subscribers. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.
Bye. Hey guys, we are under a severe weather threat right now. And it's supposed to be like this until, well, for about 24 hours. It's starting to rain. The wind's really picking up. 